Hey, Black Ham Hampshire, everybody. Thank you for slightly participating in my failed um, attempts at being funny. Uh, I appreciate you. Either way, no matter how successful I don't get, I will always appreciate the people that hate and uh, the people that love me sparingly. Not a lot of people. Our producer, I believe that he loves me. He probably won't say it out loud. I love you. Thank you. I appreciate you so Just much. Put your phones on silent, though. It know. means something. Yeah, see that, you know, it's too late. But uh, that was a hate uh, alarm, by the way. <laughs> so there was a... <laughs> <laughs> the, so, you know, that's how you know it's real. I'm not lying here. Um, We're here with a special guest today. And um, it's long overdue. It's been a very, I don't know, what, four or five years probably? Maybe more been than that. a while, that. yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we met each other in the most unscrupulous of areas where the hookers like to walk the streets. These day walkers, as I call them. Mm. Walk the streets. And uh, we podcasted there. We had a, a good time. It was, it was a phenomenal moment in our lives. Uh, a milestone, might I say. Us and the hookers. Um, and now we're back in Long Beach today, this blessed day, because today is Sunday, and I do this on God's Day, and there's no other day to do it but God's Day, with our phenomenal guest, Shelly. What's up, what's up, what's up? Right. Shelly, Shell in the building. Oh, you know what? You could throw, throw your, um, your, say your shit in the, in the beginning, so you don't do it at the end. What? Your tags, like, uh. Instagram, if you I'll want to. say it right now? Yeah, because if you do it at the end, nobody was, nobody's going to give a fuck about the end, dude. Oh, okay. Uh, at Shelly Shells IG. Follow me or don't follow me. I'm not really. That's right. That's what I press. say. <laughs> That's exactly what I say, dude. But uh, yeah, it's, been a long, it's been a long time since we've seen each other. Um, it has been. How you been? I'm not good. Uh, I'm not bad. Ooh. He always says that. Yeah, because I'm a modest person. I'm not walking around here talking about, you know what? That's fake. Okay. It's fake. People are like, oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm phenomenal. You're crazy. Mm. You're crazy. I guess I'm crazy then. You're phenomenal? I'm fucking phenomenal. If somebody asks you how you're doing. Yeah. Okay. I, talk, I was talking to Sala about this before. I don't know. I don't do the small talk. How's the weather? Don't fucking say the that. The weather is so nice. Pretty windy outside. Yeah. What are you doing today? Just working. But if I say, Making you know what, dollar. I actually thought about jumping off of the, uh, the 110 freeway and jacking off before I got, got to the bottom so I can climax. Yeah. You be like, well, that's a lot of information. Yeah. yeah. Check- All right. That's it, bro. Because I'm going to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, don't, don't, don't try to play these games with these small talk games. Check the weather on the way down. The weather's going to be <laughs> milky. Hey, man. <laughs> but again, I don't do small talk. I don't like small talk. What? I just, just be genuine. I don't really care about nobody's day. I'm not going to ask you that. Okay. You know, I think that's appropriate. Don't ask me about my day. Nobody really wants to know. Hey, man. What's up, dude? That's it. We're done. Unless I know you, then we get, you know. I don't, people I know, we don't talk like that anyway. I'll barely say hi to people I know. How is your day so far? My day so far is nice. How's your day so far? Phenomenal? <laughs> I mean, it is what I make it. Okay. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> but uh, she is one of the, Best comedians that I know of, and I don't know a lot of them because I don't like a lot of people. So, uh, <laughs> there are some comedians that I follow, but you know, again, I, I just can't deal. I can't do. I can't do it. Um, just because we share a space mentally and comedically doesn't mean I have to give a fuck about you as a person. And I think that's that's fine. We talked about it. So I told Sal about me not liking people. Even my own family. But, uh... I think that's so funny. Okay. I mean, it's real. Yes. It's real, and I give you all the space to feel that. Yeah. <laughs> so today, we are... I don't want these topics to be so serious. 
But we're going to be talking about some things that... Uh, <laughs> you got all of this serious shit. <laughs> they, can't, they can't see it, okay? <laughs> Only we can see it. All right. The notes. We got the most <laughs> serious, <laughs> serious things is, plaguing our society right now. It's, it's, not not like, it's not the most serious. <laughs> it's like, I don't want it to be too serious. I could have Palestine up there. I don't have Palestine up there. <laughs> what? Palestine's not up there. That's serious. That's a serious endeavor. I'm glad. I'm glad it's not up there. <laughs> I would. You know, that's a wild thing to put up there. But like, <laughs> that's wild. I'd be like, whoa. Like, what are you going? I know you'd be like, what the fuck is he going to say about this? I'd be like, what's happening right now? Well, back? first of all, you'd be worried. I would hope you'd be worried for me as a friend. You'd be like, is he going to say something crazy? Because he, you cannot talk about that. Has he been? Or like, I would have been thinking like, maybe you want to raise awareness and have the conversations that need to be had around that. And I'd be like, okay, I'm interested to see what the no, fuck is about to happen. I think people have had all those conversations, and that people, those people are usually smarter than me. So I, I, would, I don't want to feel stupid talking about why somebody should be bombing somebody. At this point, though, you say anything, you're either going to get praised or canceled. One of the two. There's no in between. Yeah, but if you get praised, is it genuine or is it just because you're saying shit that people want you to say? Well, that's what I mean. Okay. People have already made up their minds. Yeah. Ow, that's so... You don't even know. Have you yeah. been over there? What the fuck? Whatever. You live over here. You guys are are, are are rushing to fucking Starbucks line. I thought we was not... Uh, yeah, I was going to say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, We're talking right. about Palestine. So I just My wanted bad. to say that. My bad, dude. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so... I just wanted to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to... I was about to I you was about to get into it. I'm like, listen, you, it's hey, not on the list. Them, them engines was revving. It's not on the list. All right, you it's not on the stick a, to the list. You fucking Americans. <laughs> stick to the list. But uh, yeah. Oh, so the list, the list that we're talking about here doesn't have Palestine on it. No. Um, I I'm going to speak from experience, not from what's going on there. What I'm saying, mm -hmm. I'm some experience as far as what I've seen from from my side of the fence when it comes to men. Then I would love for you to chime in and give us a perspective for how women would feel from what they hear from what men usually say, which is usually general. It's never like this one girl said this and like, oh, okay, that's that one girl. Nobody, no, a lot of men don't do that. All right. So uh, there is, um, I'm not going to just say TikTok. I'm going to say in social media. I feel like social media, there's a loosely based um, thought process on Sexual harassment. And when it comes to sexual harassment, I think it's a very broad and kind of fucked up depiction, depending on the gender, that it's told around or is done to. It's actually okay to, to sexually harass a, a man, or I'm sorry, a boy. I don't think what kind of men are getting sexually harassed. Men get sexually harassed. Absolutely. Yeah, Even not... as, a, as a masculine presenting woman, I get sexually harassed by femme presenting women. And that's something, and they get away with it a lot. What it? What it? What? Okay. What? What it? I mean, this is gonna sound. You, I gotta say it. Say it. What is what sexual harassment? Yeah, because yeah. a lot of men don't know. Because yeah. that's what the problem is. Yeah. A lot of people, a lot of men, a lot of people don't know. It's a crossing of boundaries, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You could feel the energy when somebody, when what you're giving is unwanted. Can you be sexually harassed without being touched? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not Absolutely. saying words. I'm not yes. saying yeah. words. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I've had, uh, like, in the elevator, men stand really closely to me. Like, like you, it, could, you could smell them. Like, I could feel your dick print. That's sexual that's harassment. That's too close. That's, that's, that's sexual harassment. And it's just me. It's not crowded in this bitch. You got plenty of room. <laughs> oh, my Why God. Why do I feel your dick print? Or, like, um, staring could be sexual harassment. You know mm. what I mean? If I'm, looking at, if I'm looking at your crotch the whole time, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. Right? And you're like, hey, and you're trying to get my attention? I think we're okay with that. I think most men are. You, see, you okay with that song? No. Exactly. Oh, okay. And that's another thing about sexual harassment. <laughs> what is harassment to you is not harassment to somebody else. And, and all you have to say is, I feel uncomfortable. I, at the in, moment. In any kind of workplace. That's there it. we go. You know, let me tell you. Let me, I'm, okay. All right. Since we opened up this can of worms, yeah. let me tell you guys something. All right. I've been sexually harassed a lot. Yeah. Don't okay. Go. Talk about it. How does that make you feel? You're a sexy man. At the, thank you. I appreciate that. At the volume that I said that it made it seem like I'm I'm trying to trample over your situation is not even close. No, that's good. I'm saying that there was a situation where I've had older white ladies who I've worked with before literally stare at my penis while I was talking to them, didn't dart their yeah. eye at all. I'm like, I can see you staring. You're not yeah. even looking at me. Yeah. Now, I would never have sex with this lady. All right. But thank you for the compliment. That's how I looked at it. Yeah. And sometimes that gives the, the vibe that men like to be sexually harassed. Because we don't... It's we don't, like... We don't get it. We don't get that. 
We don't get that. But that's I don't I don't want to group everybody though. So like there are different sensitivities in the world, right? Some yeah. people are sensitive to more things that you might be. Okay. So it's like you might you seem like you want somebody looking at your dick print. You got zippers by your dick print. Your all right, that, your your belt is hanging by like you're, was, you're trying to. No, listen, <laughs> wow. You, you look like you you might want oh, somebody. Oh, you're trying was, to draw my my attention there. That was all. That was <laughs> this is accidental. I don't. You didn't. You, no, guys. I gotta have a first of all. I have a zipper on my pants. You right? got zippers all around it. The extra zippers. Don't worry about those. You got extra zippers. I do. That's for fashion. Mm. All right. Well, so is that that belt hanging that's out the, supposed to represent something? No, it's just it's a long belt, and when I put it when I put the put it through the other loops, it always slides out. No pun intended. It always slides see, out. See, here we go. So no, I'm just. I but have no, to do I I said that because now you see how I made you explain your outfit. Now there's a lot of times people say that because somebody is wearing a certain thing, they want to be, they want the attention. Yes, I'm glad you didn't say what I thought. But you that's said. but that's not real, right? It's we not. just we just talked about that. Your extra zippers and your belt yeah. don't have nothing to do. It does not with the attention that you want. And if so a chick sexual, wears a skirt or something like that, she just got a skirt on. It's hot. She got out if she got her titties out. They're her titties. I mean, yeah. They're her titties. Okay. That's, that's, that doesn't mean that you, oh, she must want me to come touch them. <laughs> you can stare. I mean, those are your eyes. Yeah. You can stare. See, so. See? But, but wait, if wait, she sees we'll... you staring and asks you to stop and then you continue to stare. What are you going to do? Tell, what? <laughs> yeah, what are you talking yeah, about? That's, Get out of here. That's dumb. It's like, hey, could you, it's the way you're staring. Could you not do it like that, please? Okay. So what if I'm like this? <laughs> <laughs> like, I look, I like what's the <laughs> what am I doing? Like, like an uninterested stare. Yeah, I'm, right? just chilling, like, <laughs> I'm just looking at titties. I'm not sexually aroused by the titties. I'm just looking at them. I was just sort of staring. <laughs> like, at you, yeah. I'm just you looking. Get it, like, you're getting bored by the titties. Yeah, like, oh. Ah, these are boring titties. Yeah, it's not sexual harassment. Can I, I, can I, I have a frappuccino. <laughs> now I'm looking at her tits. What's the problem? I don't see no problem with that. So, I think sexual harassment is personal. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't feel like uh, men take it serious when it comes to... Let me take this back. I don't think men care about actual sexual harassment when it comes to women because they think that it's not real to a degree. Yeah, I've had a... Who was it? Who do I tell you? The homie... I'm not going to say who... I'm not going to say his name. But um, he, he was talking about a situation where uh, a chick felt like she was sexually harassed. Uh, we also talked about the Diddy situation, mm -hmm. of course. Um, and it was it was like a lot of uh, these girls be lying and, you know, none of, some of this shit is, is not real. It's not really happening and all that kind of stuff like that. And I'm like, dude, that's kind of toxic. Don't say that. Yeah. And it's crazy to say, as a man, to be talking about how he don't think sexual harassment is happening to the degree that it is without looking at statistics. Yeah. Statistically, like, mad women are getting... More than sexually harassed. I want to say that. It's people in general, though. Like, I think when we have these conversations, we always go into gender, men and women, and that's where we get distracted, right? It's a human experience to get sexually harassed because there are sexual predators. But the numbers do matter. And we don't know what the predators like. Yeah. Whatever they like, that's who's getting harassed. <laughs> I mean, if, we, if we're talking about domestic violence, yeah, which happens across the board, and we're talking about including sexual harassment in that. Nine out of ten. I mean, I would assume statistically that the numbers are higher for women than there are men. Probably, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because like, maybe report it. Yeah. No, we're not gonna do this. Because uh, our men reporting sexual harassment. Okay, yeah. and let's and let's be real about about this with, uh -huh. when it comes to men. All right. When you're talking about men, men are less prone to talk about being sexually harassed because we're men and we don't want to look weak or we don't want to look, you know, uh, dependent by yeah. talking about these things. So it's part of society that this is something we don't talk about. So you can guarantee the numbers are going to be very, very high. But think about the last time you saw a guy in the news talking about being sexually harassed. What did you think of that guy? I've literally never seen it. Oh, well, I've seen it. And yeah, and you don't think very highly of the guy because you're thinking, well, she's, I mean, she's well, looking. Why don't you take advantage of that? It's not you know? just that. It's it's also leans on the fact of like men looking at it as in like, well, it's a woman. Like, why are you talking to like when a teacher fucks a kid? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh -oh. the, everybody's like, oh, shit. What did the teacher look like? 
If it's a guy, yeah. Yeah, I'm not if talking about If it's a little, if it's a little kid, if it's a boy, they're like, oh, good for him. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? But That's if it's about. a guy, then then he's a pedophile and is is wrong. It is there's there's double standards. We we know that. Um, I think we got to get to the point of raising our sexual intelligence. And men are not taught sex. No, they learn sex. Yeah, from other nonsense, <laughs> like you know, other other places. You learn sex. You learn sex. You don't your homeboys exactly from porn mm -hmm. places that where you're not really being educated. So there's like a low sexual intelligence. Um, so I think a lot of times men don't even know. <laughs> Sometimes like this is if you don't feel comfortable, this is not cool. You don't have to indulge in this because you're supposed to be so sex hungry. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the first time I tried to have sex, uh, I didn't even know how to use a condom. So um, <clears throat> it was it was it. Was, I feel fairly. I, I felt pretty goofy. I'm not okay. gonna lie. I, I was trying to put the condom on flaccid. I thought I thought that was gonna end with and nine months later. Oh no, no, okay. no, no, no! I'm glad it didn't. But I was trying I to, to put, put it on without being hard. Yeah, I was. I was. I have nobody ever told you. I was noodled out, and I tried to put the condom on. Like when it get hard, it's gonna be already protected. That's what I was thinking. That and that makes sense to me. I was trying to come in with but, the armor. Yeah, you like I already got it on, baby. <laughs> like just get it hard. Just get it hard. <laughs> it's already protected. <laughs> Didn't work out. That's preparation. <clears throat> and then she yeah. stared. She looked at my penis and she was like, "Yeah, because I can imagine how scary it looked." What are you gonna do? Uh, I was like, oh, "I don't, I don't know." I don't know. Let's go. Let's just go back outside. <laughs> like, let's just let's just go back outside and play or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, I was, we gotta. I, I was. I was. I wasn't even that young either. It was kind of fucked up. Yeah, we gotta have more conversations about sex as I, a community, not as a group like silo. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, but as as a community, so that we could uh, just enrich. Our interaction with each other. Well, there's a saying that men uh, want to fuck women, but they don't really care about women. I feel like that's slightly accurate because a lot of men really care about sex a lot. But when it comes to a situation where something is happening with a woman or a woman does feel um, in danger or uncomfortable, it's like, all right, like, fucking chill out. Chill out. I'm starting to feel like this is like performative gender roles though because mm. like when i actually get time to meet some men okay they're not on that you know what i'm saying but i feel like when they get into society they feel like they have to play this role like how somebody wants to be a certain way whenever a, a girl is around or when a homies are around yeah like with me i feel like i see the softer side of men i see the real side the human side but then when other elements are in introduced into the space then they're like oh yeah now they oh, i know bitches is crazy right and you're like damn bro you was just talking about your grandmother in the same minutes. setting yeah that's creepy i'm like we was just talking about your grandmother five minutes ago like i mean he's probably done talking about his grandma it's some of it is performative. he was on a change of subject it's, yeah yeah it's yeah performative. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's performative i hope not that's fucking that sounds horrible it's performative um because and i say that because um, and I'm not trying to be a woman basher either, but I... They don't call them that. Right. That's the thing. We don't talk about women in this abusive space enough mm -hmm. and, and, and the violations that women cross as well. And I've, and I've experienced that as a lesbian. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy because we, when we talk about sexual harassment and, you know, sexual deviance and things like that, uh -huh. we talk about men only. And I'm like, you know, I'm going to be totally vulnerable here. When I was molested as a kid, it was by a woman. Okay. We don't talk about that. I mean, it's like, not a popular topic. I'm not saying it's not happening. It's just not popular. Like Antoine Fisher isn't a big deal, but it's a fucking epic movie. But it's a fucking it's a thing that happens. Yeah. Women are out here <clears throat> doing these things as well. So it's really you can't put a gender to uh, ignorance. That's a part of the double standard, though. And that I think that will never leave because we we I've seen podcasts where dudes have went up there and talked about how. They were molesting. It's like, oh, yeah, by who? And, and you know, it's mad people like, is it your uncle? And it's like, nah, it was a girl or it was an older lady or some shit like that. It was always an older lady. And people are like, hey, that's what's up, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why? It's like, that's facts. Yeah. But like, and then he's how do fucked you, up. And then how does he process that? Well, he's fucked. He's like, one of them is a comedian and the other one is like a regular dude. But he's like, you could just tell, like, he's not mentally all there. Or, or it did affect him, and he's like now just using it for jokes, right? And it's like, hey man, did you talk to somebody about that? Or like, I know you were grown now, and you, I guess you're supposed to be past it, 
And it's not really a, a cool look for a man to be like, hey, man, like the time that 17 year old fucked me when I was 10, that shit. I, I still think about her pussy today. Right. There's a, there's, there's a, this one dude, this girl just kept making him go down on her. She wouldn't even pleasure him, which is kind of fucked up. But, um, I mean, at least do, but at least give him a little something. But it, I don't know. That was my, that was my first half of my lesbian career was just pillow princess. It was just, it's like, they it's, call them pillow princesses? Pillow princess. Yeah, explain that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a woman who just wants to lay there and be I'll, put I'll in pleasure. dead fish. Mm. You call it dead fish? Yeah. Men do. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Mm. Let's be real. Me dead fish is when you don't respond. Okay. That's kind yeah. Of the same you, thing, right? No, no pillow princess is going up. They yeah, all. If, oh my god, they're yeah, doing all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you'd be like, "Wow, you're having a good time." Is it my turn? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to. I want to do that. <laughs> Are we having fun yet? And she's like, "Ooh, that was. Thank you so much. You have a." Yeah, now I don't see how that's possible. <laughs> I don't see how that's possible. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna get up, frothed mouth, <laughs> and you just leave the room. Now I'm closing the door. You see, no, I, see, you didn't turn to a creep now. I know. Just that quick. How you, I, 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 I felt, do you see? I felt it before I said it. I felt it before I said it. But I'm letting you know <laughs> that I'm going to need something. You got to touch my nipples or something. <laughs> Listen. You can't just leave. But you can't. But see that you can't do that, right? So right. you. Have, this is why conversation is important. I don't like this. No, I know. I know you don't. But you. this is how you create your own reality by conversa like having a conversation about what we're about to do before we get in here. So there's no miss because you you're thinking like oh obviously if I go down yeah. on you you're gonna go down on me yes but what if that's not what she wants okay you okay all right so you gotta have listen you suck dick no no I know I'm not, I'm not I'm not no I know, I'm no joking. okay <laughs> you're joking. But, uh, fine if you did fine if you did do. but that's what you <laughs> that's that conversation you ask the woman you about to have you suck dick because I'm eating your pussy you can't go in there just not knowing what's happening can uh, you. Mm. Can you, you say, wait, wait, see, wait, like, what? He probably uh, thinking the same thing. No, I'm say it, say it. I just don't know that men are having that conversation. Then that's not. the problem. Nobody's no, gonna that, do that. that, sounds, that Why might be not? A lesbian thing. That Consent might be a lesbian is thing. the sexiest thing you could. Hey, do you Dude, like this? Do you do you want my dick in your mouth? That fucks up the magic. It doesn't. That fucks up the magic. It's sexier than you would think. It's not. It is. All right. See, do okay. you want my dick in your I mouth? Feel like, that's sexy. I feel like you're speaking about this from from. A perspective to where you can do those things. I agree. Right? Oh, no. Have y'all tried though? If I go tell a girl, all right, I'm gonna tell you some shit that happened to me recently. <laughs> Since we go up, like, what? You're crazy. Okay. All right. Uh, this this chick, I, I'm I'm gonna say, uh, there's been situations to where a chick will like act like she wants something from you. Right. Oh no, I won't say that. I won't say that. Manipulation. That's, no, that's that's real. That's a wild thing to say. That's real. Women do act like this. Kind of bleeds over into um one of the topics. Women do act like uh they want like I want this from this guy or mm -hmm. I like this guy or I'm I'm giving you hints on I'm I'm willing to take it this far. Yeah. And then you be like, oh, as a man, all we can go off of is what we can see. So you're like, oh, okay, well, I think she's ready to she want to have sex. And then all of a sudden. It's a lot of cold shouldering, or it's like a situation where it's like, well, you didn't really do anything, so um, yeah, because you're happened. you're unclear the whole time. So I supposed to, in the midst of anything, I supposed to be like, hey, look, you're uh, giving me this eye, and yeah. yeah, what do you mean by that? Yes, yes, that's what I'm saying. Nobody's gonna just be like, hey, so you want to fuck or yes? I, I mean, at the age that I am now, I'll do that. But when I was like 20, 25, all the kind, no, yeah, no. facts. But I'm saying like that that is sexy and that is a thing that is being overlooked is being clear and intentional about these spaces that we're about to enter into with each other. So you think a man should be like, hey, look, I know you come to my house for the first time. This goes back to the first date conversation we and him was talking about how uh, you invite a girl to your house. That's crazy. It's the first date. Yeah. And it's like. Oh, that's crazy. Hell yeah, yeah that's crazy. You invite the niggas inviting you to his house on the first date. The first thought process should be, is he does he think he fucking me tonight? Okay, okay. No, I, I was asking because I've done that, and I. Uh, well, you you know the old lesbian joke though. What? What is, what is oh, the U-Haul? Take to the second day. The U-Haul. Yeah, joke? So there's yeah. there's a different frame of mind. There, yeah, it is. You gotta, it is you gotta admit okay, that. you're right. And I think I, I oh, let's not come on, guys. Let's not act like that's a that's a way fucking different though. Like it's way different. A girl coming to a nigga house and he making fucking shell pasta, or some shit with some cheese in it. 
thinking he's fucking Chef Boardy. All of a sudden, they land on watching Netflix, a movie they don't even give a fuck about, and he's put, slowly pulling his dick out. That happens. It does. What and is so, she going to do? Run away? Because we don't have that conversation. Hey, do you want to come over for dinner? Yes. Um, what else was the? What else will be happening this evening? Uh, who's going to say that? Who's going to say what else? Is that's, he or somebody got to say what else. <laughs> Nobody's going to say it. <laughs> and that's the the unspoken. I see what you're is, saying. Yeah, what I'm saying is that unspoken space is why we have all this shit that nobody knows what's about to happen. Oh, I thought you was coming to suck some dick. Oh, that's, that's, that's <laughs> the wildest shit to say. I like, thought you was going to... Dude. <laughs> oh, I th- but if we were more honest, imagine the world we lived in. Because you talk about this a lot. I've heard you say that a yeah. lot this morning. Is yeah. it genuine? Yeah. Is it real? If we have these conversations, you'll know. You won't have to question that anymore. Hey, do you like sucking dick? Hey, do you want to come over? Nobody's hey. going to say, do you like sucking dick? Well, say it a different way. Whatever. Hey, can I? I, I don't know how to say I'm, I'm very blunt. You're going to scare women away. You're not. No, I would. You're not. If I, as a man, said, do you like sucking dick? If, if I have a smile, they probably don't think I'm joking. Well, also, okay, let's put context to it. It can't be the beginning of the conversation, right? Of course not. You're, you're talking like... Getting to know somebody, of course, you. Hey, I'm, you know. So, how far in could you say you like sucking dick? When you're start, when you start feeling like you want to have sex with this person, that could be very soon. And that's another problem. <laughs> <laughs> right? that's a, and that's another conversation. Like, all right. Let's so, see. if you if you if you want to have sex that soon, then that's a different me, ex, that's a different experience you're trying to have. But if she's showing me sexual, you know. She's she's doing or talking about sexual things, right? Like I'm like, are you getting comfortable? Are we comfortable now? Yeah, we co- exactly. Are yeah. we comfortable now? All right, yeah, you turning me on? Nah. I, well, I I will add in that men do try to get that information just in a different way. Like yeah. when you start doing that, like little sexy talk and all that, and you start going, so what do you like to do? Things? Sexy talk, like, right? You know, I mean, but it's not outright. And the only place I could say where you could do that overtly is through the apps, right? Because yeah. the apps. There's a sense of anonymity. You haven't really met anybody yet, and you might get lucky. And if not, you just move on to the next person. Well, they say those apps are for are they're for sex. A, a lot, lot of, of apps them are. Yeah, a lot yeah. of them are. It's getting to, it's getting straight to it. That I guess I guess bullshit too. That's why I'm like I think it depends on the person. Yeah, honestly, it does. It, does. it, it is because some people aren't. This is a newsflash. Some people aren't built for like that. Like wham bam, thank you, ma'am, shit. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to be. Like, I, I wish I was that guy where I could just be like, yeah, I fucked her yesterday, bro. You haven't thought of her since. Yeah. Right. Yeah, like, ah, uh, shit was mid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm talking about her. You know, I'm like, it's like, what? But I, I can't, unless I have some kind of emotional attachment to you, I can't have sex with you. Right. Because then it's like, well, I'm, well, I'm a fucking a crash dummy here. Right, right. I can't fuck a dumb girl anyway. That's why it's like, it's, it's I'm out. I can't even do it. What's, what's a dumb girl? Uh-oh. A girl that's stupid or no? I'm not saying it like oh, I don't call girls dumb. I'm saying like what 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 in classify your as a for yeah. a dumb girl? Uh, like somebody can't hold a conversation. That okay? Yeah, somebody which is a lot. There's a stimulate lot you mentally that type. Yeah. Of okay, mental stimulation. Okay, or like no self awareness. We talked about that. No self. Okay. You have to have self awareness, dude. It's like you don't realize the shit what you're doing. That's irritating what you're doing. Right. Like that's irritating. Okay. You know I don't know I don't you talk about you talk about like re- like regular shit to them that they are deeming it as like fucking wide you know a wide v- of amount of knowledge i'm like that's this is regular shit that i talk about right, right, right. like oh you're using big words it's like Ta-da. you're fucking it is funny when somebody say you're using big words but you, they might not have heard them words before. that's not my fucking problem don't make fun of me <laughs> that's something like, you're dumb you're gonna make fun of me for using a big words i remember one time i said i said uh obst- no i said um debacle on um on facebook and this girl was like whoa that debacle is a big word. No, it's not. It de- and you and you know why I know it's a big word because you probably said it to make a point. This is Ooh. a de- I did. right. I did. You you drop a big <laughs> word to make a point. Otherwise, you would have said this is a this chaotic. This okay, is- well, can can you can you, let's be uh, let's tr- let's let's try to be like understanding. Like, oh, he said debacle. Let me give him some kudos. Don't be like, wow, we're using big words now. You you're you're telling me you're stupid. That was an attempt to insult you, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's something like you're dumb and you're gonna have dumb babies. Wow. You didn't well, and that's a quick conclusion future. to draw. Yeah. That took out the future. Okay. Hey, you got right, Chris R. Right. Rock, don't we? Oh. So um, yeah. So our next topic. I was gonna say we're like <laughs> we're gonna, 30. We gonna we don't we're gonna transition on Chris R. Rock being dumb. <laughs> I love it. Okay, what's next? <laughs> so our next topic. Um, oh well, this is kind of the same thing we're talking about now. Dating a bomb ass problem is your fault. 
What does that mean? I was reading that. I was like, what? Dating a bomb ass problem. Is um, you-, you know what? You know, let me. I want to show a video real quick. Okay. Uh, that kind of circles around an issue that we were just talking about recently. We got really involved in the conversation. That conversation went very. Uh, I thought it was. I it thought was it was very good. easy. Yeah, I know. I saw. Yeah, I was well, like, yeah. Kind of got. got this is, we in thirty minutes now. Yeah. Um, it's about people self awareness. This is a girl I probably wouldn't have sex with. I hope you wouldn't either. You know. Well, let I mean, me see her. Let me see. Yeah, let, let's show us the, <laughs> the, 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 uh, the white lady who doesn't have any self awareness. Oh. Okay. The first one. All right. For Cody, a single mom in California, the post started as a way to entertain her three kids during the pandemic. I had started just doing some dances with my kids online to kind of pass the day. And um, pretty quickly, I started gaining some traction, getting a following. She found a community on Instagram and Facebook. We used to post 500 pictures a day where she would share update after update about her family. I would kind of show the ins and outs of being a single mom. Nobody needs to know that. But it wasn't long before her social media presence took a dark turn after a video of her swapping places with her five-year-old daughter went viral. I put my phone down after it posted. A couple hours later, checked it again. It was at six million views. And, you know, the first thought there is how exciting it was. And then I opened the comments and the comments were all uh, inappropriate towards her. I was so disgusted. I immediately deleted the video, deleted every video of them on the page and haven't really looked back. Even after wiping every picture of her kids from the internet, she says their school address was leaked and her family started to receive death threats. I w- it's a lesson Cam this Barrett says she wishes her mom had learned when Cam I mean, was young, she's a fucking liar. private life was thrown into the public she domain. Got, she got it worse. My mom kind of made like my first MySpace account with me. I think that was like my first introduction to like social media, but ass. like as a child, like, I didn't know better. So I kind of think I like used it more as like a toy. I, she would just post paragraphs about like my day-to-day life what i was doing <laughs> Cam's TMI. mom sharing moments that were deeply personal from her first not period to either. photos of her in a bikini as a child oh and this moment after cam was That's in a car the, accident the she was right there taking wild. pictures when i'm like strapped to the gurney and i have a neck brace on and I, it's like i needed a hand to hold but like it was like a camera <laughs> put in my face and stuff. <laughs> that's crazy right that's oversharing. Yeah. That's oversharing on social media. <laughs> right? I like how I like how, see you didn't, now you guys see how I didn't laugh at that? I laughed at that when I was at home when I first seen it. <laughs> but she's laughing at that right now. This is a genuine reaction. This is what you need when you ask a girl some crazy shit that she was telling us to ask them. You want a reaction like this. Right? She <laughs> said I was looking for a hand, but it was a camera. Yeah, it was. That took me out. It was, she was on live. Listen, um, social media has taken over. Uh, I feel like people's uh, where they get their validation from now. Yep. Right. And so now people are sharing everything in their life just to see what you like. Okay. Where they can get the validation. I'm, I'm going to share everything. Please. Ex- can, I'm going to tell you where somebody got on my head about making fun of this shit. Yeah. It's like, so you're exposing everything that's going on. Okay. And so I have the right to look at everything and say what I want about every little thing that you're doing because Thank you, you put it out there. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. It's no if you if you don't want that, then you keep it private. That's what I said. That's just what it is. I said, look, dude, if you show me your life and I turn it into jokes, yeah, that's your fault. Yeah, you put it out there. Anything could happen when you do that. It's not even private. Your your account private. ain't private. I don't have to sign nothing to no. say that I'm going to act a certain way, and then. You find out that we live in a community with different perspectives. Make your account private. Don't put it up there. I mean, you can because these some of these people, this is like they're like, this is this is how they get it out. But like make your account private. You got mother, you got everybody, you got Tom, Dick Harry, and Joan on your shit. They're gonna say something crazy. You know what I mean? For some reason, I got a lot of right wing people on my shit. I don't know why, I don't know where they came from, right. but they're fucking funny. So I'm like, all right, cool. Y'all have y'all have a ball. Right. I'm not, I don't care about the 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 the, the, the directions. It doesn't right. mean anything to me. I don't know why people think that we're all supposed to like watch social media and just totally be loving and sensitive the whole time. It's like you're gonna ev- you're evoking a lot of different emotions. Well, you're creating your own world. Yeah, you're creating all type of stuff. But that's but they don't they're looking at it like I this is my profile. I've created a world for myself. 
if you come in saying I should eat shit and die, you're an asshole. And it's like, well, you, you're taking, you're doing, you dancing with your daughter. Your daughter is like wearing some shit that she shouldn't be wearing. You should eat shit. You told them to eat shit and die dancing with their daughter? No, that's not. Oh, okay. Not, I didn't say that's not me. I didn't say that. I was like, well, that's. Nah, it was just one, just one, <laughs> just one girl. She uh she posted like 10 pictures. You know, on, on TikTok, you can post pictures, you go like this and there's music to it. Mm, I don't have a TikTok. But. Okay. Um, not, flex. Shouts to you. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't. Should do she TikTok. flexed off you real quick? I don't do TikTok. Uh, so she, all right, dude. <laughs> so she, uh, let's see if you keep fucking laughing if I tell you this. Okay, go on. She, she posted each picture from like the age of like, I guess, five or six or something like that, mm -hmm. all the way to where she is now, which is 22, mm -hmm. about how her uncle uh, slowly groomed and started molesting her. Oh. And it was, y'all didn't expect me to go there, did you? That's dark. That's We back to them uncles now. Right. So, um, ain't a woman in this one. But uh, it was it was weird, because I'm like, we don't even know you. Right. And you're telling us that, I mean, in detail, this is when I was happy. In this picture, he made me sit on his lap. In this picture, I was fine. It was my birthday. In this picture, he made me come to his room. I'm looking at this. I'm like, why are you telling us this? Okay. I'm I'm just a regular guy. Right. Watching this. Oh, by the way, we go through the rest of your fucking profile. You're shaking your ass. Okay. So, I'm confused. I'm confused a little bit, right? You're confused how she was being groomed and it turned into shaking her ass? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm confused. My dick is hard down here, but up here, I have a problem. I'm like, why don't show? Don't put this on here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a, go to your therapist and talk about that. You can't be ooh, fucking doing surround sound you challenges. Low key, you low key touched on another topic though about you know, it's interesting because okay. there was there was, how do I say this? Ooh, those are, that's the spicy ones, right? There. Yeah, like okay, m people not wanting someone for their whole self, you know. Like you said, your dick was hard. Yes. So now you want her to shake her ass only. Yes. Right? But you didn't want to indulge in like... The, because that's personal. The, the other thing. So it's my ass. No, it's not. Shaking. No, it's not. It is. Not if you didn't make it personal. You know what? I didn't make the other thing... I made the other thing public as well. They're both public. Twerking ain't, per twerking ain't personal. Twerking. So wait, are you, are you saying that he should be interested in the whole person? What I'm saying is he should be interested in the whole person. Not okay. that your dick should have been hard about her getting grooming. Okay. But... You shouldn't feel like it should be separate. I, wow. Yeah, it should be it's separate. It's her page. So this is who she is. She's somebody who's gr got groomed. Let me tell you why this is weird. And then now it's twerking. Let me tell you why this is weird. If she posts a fucking OnlyFans link right next to her getting groomed, that's not weird. You would click on it anyway. I don't don't worry about that. But you would click on it anyway. I don't worry about that. Because it's because you need to know where to go get her OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the grooming. Where's the OnlyFans? That sounds crazy. You can't say <laughs> but that. But it's reality. I agree. She with you. And she created that reality. And then you're going to go in the comments and be like, what's up with that OnlyFans, though? She's going to be like, excuse me? Well, don't post it on the grooming video. Because <laughs> then you're an asshole. Post it on a twerking video. <laughs> go where you're, where you're be in the lane you're supposed to be in. You said don't post it. You had the <laughs> Like, what's up with the OnlyFans? Yeah, post it on the next one where she's shaking her ass. That's appropriate. Oh, shit. This is where you're shaking your ass. I want to know where I can get more ass shaking. All right, cool. I think it should be separate, though. <laughs> you on one lonely ass page about me being groomed and molested? One, though. Out of all the shit, you <laughs> show this? I'm like, you You got to start start down here. All right, you guys are forgetting two things. What? Number one, we talked about being, you know, with with uh, social media having a different, like, validation, right? Which yes. is likes are currency. We agree, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, likes, follows, and, uh, and comments are currency. So here you have two different pieces of content. Both of them got ridiculous views from different groups of people. Yeah. yeah. So from her perspective, she won because she just got all kinds of comments, even from different people. She grew her audience from two different groups, people who care yeah. about her as a person, people who just want to see her shake her ass, right? Yeah. Don't so, nobody really care about her. So that so there's that. The second that, thing though is like if you if you're well, if you're going to that page, you you know, you as a person are just going to look for one thing. Like you look at Kobe Bryant. Most people know Kobe Bryant is a great basketball player. Uh -huh. But you don't know and may not even care if he was a great dad, if he actually did rape the lady in Colorado. Okay. Who cares? I mean, we look at people for singular Kobe things. Bryant. And so yeah, if you're gonna look for shaking her ass, you're gonna ignore the rest of her content. So I don't, I don't know that it's a like a like a 
realistic thing to say, oh, you should know the whole person because that's not what we're really looking for. Yeah, we're looking for Well, action. then go to what you're looking for. Because look, this is what I'm saying. If I make a... You say ignore it. No, I said go to the point, to the person that you want to go to on her page. Like, if I make a page, that's who I am as a person. Yeah. That's my whole thing. Okay. Okay? You're going to get all of it. And people are going to cherry pick that. Or... Some people make a page that's just a business page because then that's what I want you to do. Only focus on this. Some people make a page that's faceless because I only want to put memes. Okay. But some other people don't differentiate and they got the right to do that. Now, if you're going on there for the ass shaking, then bypass the grooming, go to the ass shaking, get the link to the OnlyFans. So you want me to skip the groom? Yeah, skip it. Yeah, skip it. Because you don't care about it. I know, but- So then why are you you letting yourself get stressed out over the- It feels fucked up to ignore the groom. I'm sorry. Now, because yeah, you care. You, because you, you care. Put, no, I put care. Them on the same page. I care about the groom. Because you care. I don't want the groom to happen. Right. I'm just saying that you wasn't in the grooming mood. No. You, you wanted to hide the grooming so you hide can enjoy that. So you can enjoy the ass shaking without yes. shame. Be a groom hider. <laughs> be a groom hider. Be a groom hider. Because I can't enjoy the ass shaking no, with now, the shame. I, now I can't get out of my head now. Mm. I don't. I, I guess I'm just. I'm like, dude. I'm seeing her shake her ass. And I'm thinking about her uncle. Well. Yeah. Come got, on, man. She got two million likes from two different groups. Hey, man. Yeah, that's true. But and you're one of the ass shaking groups, and I feel, I feel you. You're just like, damn. I, I wanted the ass shaking only. Yeah, I'm an ass like, but I, but this happened to me. So, yes. And if it wasn't for the grooming, he probably groomed her to shake her ass. I mean, it's possible. It's a large possibility. Honestly. It's a part of her. They're making these girls dance on TikTok. It's, it's I'm just really, saying. Yeah. I feel you though, but you got to skip the grooming and go to the ass shaking. All right. Well, maybe she'll show her uncle at some fucking point, right? Uh, next time, just go to her page. You have one eye covered. So you, can, eye see, covered. you can see one bit at a time and then keep skipping. I, I could see how what you was thinking when you, when you said that. But, yeah. But. Okay. <laughs> oh. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> you should not have put that in front of her. <laughs> that was my first time using oh, it. Shit. Good okay. job. Shouts to that. You take that, Saul. <laughs> <laughs> Cover your eyes. Don't, don't let me start pressing some Cover your eyes. You said don't she let me start pressing some buttons. That was fucked up. Wait, what was the button you pressed? She belongs to the streets. <laughs> oh, she belongs to the streets. <laughs> That's crazy saying that. That's, you want a battle? Is that what you said? <laughs> oh, I, I know, right? <laughs> I think I got. A, I think I got a button to disable yours. Over here. That's hilarious. Oh, okay. Are you gonna cut my? Show of course he has that. Yeah, that's yeah, of course, of course. That's he's <laughs> playing God. Over. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, we got another video for you guys, which I love. This show, by the way, this okay. show is fucking phenomenal. It's so funny to me. Um, I don't see how what comedians don't do more uh, material on it. Um, this goes according to dating a bomb ass uh, problem is your fault because it is your fucking fault. Nobody forced you to date this girl. You know what came with this girl. The girl's a bill. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, that's, a, that's a little compilation I put together or was put together for me by God uh, <laughs> with people dating people from across the country hoping that they'll find love. Okay. Asked, so oh, not that what? one. Not that one. Nope. You... you know what? Let's go to that. Let's go to that one. Okay. That one's good too. Let's go to that one. Fuck All it. Right. Asked, so what? That's if a guy asks you something, if a guy asks you to do something and you're like, oh, where my ring at? And you're going to like this one. You ask a guy to do something, and he's like, well, how do you think the ring going to come? You know I'm non-traditional. Red so flag. I don't feel like I have to cook for you Ooh. for what? <laughs> cook for your damn self. You got a boy, too. You don't feel like you... And you know, my mom man. can't stand when I used to date. Kenny mom can't stand when I didn't fix his plate. He got legs and feet. Get your so up and fix so your own plate. It's so bad, but I don't care. Yeah, yeah. So I would make his plate that. only because I feel like it. Don't what? Like, oh, don't make me a plate. What? You know I'm just you know I'm so non traditional. Like you want me to tie your shoe too? Oh, did you okay, want me to like wash your drawers while I'm at it? <laughs> not doing that shit. No. Get Hell your, yeah. That's a little overboard, mm. but I definitely but I'm just feel saying, like a no woman should, you know. If that's her man, I definitely feel like, you know, she should be washing her clothes. Why well, I mean washing his clothes, you know, taking up his plate. Because now I'm working Beautiful. for my ring. So you shouldn't have to work for me. Not like, like him. <laughs> What? So I don't have any problem with a lot of people probably have a problem with what you're saying. I'm, I'm gonna clip that up really good when I get a chance. Was that two a point, two opposing points of view right there? It was because one of them, first of all, one of them looked like she was fucking in high school, but uh, the other one looked very aggressive. 
She was like, look, I've been through the shit. I got the experience, bitch. Don't talk to me about none of that. Non-traditional. Let she me came tell on. you. Non-traditional. Suit, and she said it many times. <laughs> yeah. She was like trying to sell that home. And I don't have a problem with what she said. Like, why should she have to do anything? First of all, we, we date women for a reason. And a lot of the yeah, reasons Yeah, what's the why, reason? I think this is something we need to know. A lot of the reasons why men date women mm-hmm. off, for, off the rip is for looks. Okay. And it's, I mean, we, I remember he taught me, he told me, he's like, it's not always sexual, it's just sometimes it's attraction. Mm-hmm. But like, it's, you see, yeah. you want. Yeah. Okay. It's not, you don't know anything about her yet. Mm-hmm. You don't know if she's fucking non-traditional. Mm-hmm. You don't know none of that. All you know is you like what you see. Mm-hmm. You date them. If they get ugly, they get fat, you start making reasons of why you shouldn't date them no more. Mm-hmm. So if, if there's some stipulations you come with and you have them or don't have them, it should go the same way. Oh, nigga, you got less money now? I don't want to talk to you. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Why she can't do that? You know yeah. what I'm saying? If she get fat, you want her to stay in shape, get, stay in shape. Make sure she have a gym membership. If or, you don't want her to get fat. Or work out with her. Yeah. But it's this like, again, they feel like they don't have to do that. That's what I'm saying. But, and they, it's like, you want to you want them to stay sexy for like her whole life of, with you. Okay. Because when he dies. Stay sexy with you. I have to say that because who gives a fuck if he's dead, right? She might try to kill him her damn self. But it's just like, it's just not, it's unrealistic. Like, okay, be a wife to me, but I need you to also have these attributes yeah. as well. Then it's like, what do you do? Yeah, that conversation is uh, vintage and yeah, of course. it's just outdated. I like that word. Vintage. Yeah, that's a vintage conversation, <laughs> to be honest. And people who are still having it, it's just like a level of emotional intelligence that I'm just, I'm not on that level. Um, so... You talking about uh, traditions? Yeah, it's like, <clears throat> listen, I'm all about conversation. Yeah. Talk about what you want. There are women who want to be submissive. Yes. They they want that. They want to do laundry. And then there's other women who say, hey, we should have a partnership. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And if I am doing laundry and doing all of that stuff, that is a job. So then I can't do all of that and work, right? <laughs> if you want me to do that and take, it to care, take care of the kids, then you should be bringing home... You got to play yeah. the other role of that gender. You know what I'm saying? That's your gender role. This is mine. Some women are like, nah, bro. And that makes more sense to me because it's like, we need to come together and find out what we're good at. Some men are not good at making money at all. That sounds funny. It, some men are not good at, they're not business minded. Mm-hmm. And I don't even want to say, I, I know one. It was in my family. I, I'm going to say it. It's, I'm, I'm kind of scared to say this, to be honest. Don't say his name. I want to say his name. No, don't say his name because I don't want you know. Okay, that might be a problem. I had a family member, <laughs> and he was beat up by the police in the nineties. Okay, and then is that who is your family member? Who I think it is. And then he got a settlement for getting because the police officers got off, but he still got a settlement for getting his his for getting beat up. It was recorded, right? Okay, million dollars. Damn! All right, blew through it. How 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 bad was the beating? The beating was terrible. It right. was it was, was it, caused a riot. Was it a million dollars worth? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. It caused a riot. It right. was it was all right. I get it. It was all over the newspaper. It was everywhere. I, you know what? Million dollars blew it. You just screwed. Well, you didn't say the name, so I didn't you're say right. that. You're right. You're right. It, it and and didn't do and 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 it's not shame on him, mm. but I'm just saying, you know, fiscally, yes. he wasn't fiscally responsible with the money. Oh, okay. He's broke now. He's he's dead now. Oh, but, but the police didn't kill him. No, the police didn't kill him. All right. Well, I mean, they added to it because it did mess him up. Part to the people. But he didn't do anything fiscally responsible with the money, so it's just kind of like, you know, in that role, the woman, whatever woman he was with or in his life, should have been in charge of that money. Okay. He wasn't good at that. It shouldn't be a gender role. It should be based on who's good at what. What about when... What I'm uh, trying to say. We went down all of that. Of course. Now I'm trying to say it should be who's good at what. What about men who don't know how to approach women and women feel like, I don't have to... If I, I've, I've always liked you, but you never said anything. And so, well, you, you grown, right? Yeah, you could have said something too. Well, what about that tradition? That's a fucking old tradition. It is. And I'm sick of it too. I I deal with that as a masculine presenting woman. Um, I don't want to chase. You know what I'm saying? I don't even run fast, so I'm not gonna catch none of them. I mean, I think a hint. I think a hint will be okay. Chasing? No, a hint. Just give me a oh. hint. Just wink your eye at me or some shit, or like blow a kiss or something. I don't know. Okay. 
it's been proven that the older you get, the less games you want to play those. So yeah, that's yeah. That, make, that makes sense. You know, I Nobody think when you're young, trick. everybody's scared of getting hurt. You know, yeah. but yeah, just really quick, I I don't know that I agree with either one of those approaches because the one girl was saying, you know, yeah, I should have to work for the ring, and that's what I don't like. I personally believe in partnership, um, but you know, working for the ring just makes it sound like like it's transactional, and it I, is. I don't really yeah. know that I agree with that. And understand that a lot of relationships are transactional. Of course. That's why they don't work. Especially as you get older. Yeah. yeah. Because the transactions run out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. I agree with that. Let's uh, see some people across the seas who uh, also are trying their hand at uh, these transactional relationships. What? So, basically, you're saying if I can't provide, I'm worthless to you. I don't understand what's wrong about it. If I was ugly and fat, would you be dating me? Right. <laughs> if you were who you are. This thing is lying. He did lie. He, did lie. <laughs> he lied like a lie. Listen, I don't want to see you here anymore, okay? <laughs> you Hilarious. are not welcome here. You understand that? I have things to do. Like, uh, is this 90 Day Fiance? Yes. Oh my God. Who's talking about For marriage, you have day. not been an active like partner, spouse to me since we got married. I believe in marriage and this take our ma- my vows serious. He's a handsome guy. Yeah, he but yeah, you no, you're not welcome here. I don't want this. <laughs> and because I'm I don't here, want this. You can take this too, so you know how serious. I like this her. Is. Nah. Look, she's not. You're not. Look. Ooh. You're not getting rid of me that quick. You were a user, Muhammad. Yeah. You used. Yeah, he you did. You told me what I wanted to hear to yeah. get nice. me to pull that f***ing nice. Yep. nice. Nice. I am going to guarantee I will get your ass deported Ooh. because you're a f***ing user. I'm going to call police on her. You backstabbed me this whole time. I need police as soon as possible. Oh, my God. Damn. Yeah. Shout out to Muhammad, bro. Shout out to the police. <laughs> Muhammad, that's crazy. <laughs> I mean, look, he gave you the best time of your life for that little bit of time that he was over here. And, you know, what do you want? more do you want? Listen, I think we got to stop believing people when we know they're lying. Mm. She knew Muhammad didn't. She I knew mean, Muhammad was using You it. know what? I agree with that. Yeah. You got to know, sweetie. Yeah. You have to. You feel that intuition? It's real. She looked like Aunt Mabel. Yeah, come on. She looked like the chick that killed Selena in the movie. Mm. She, actually, <laughs> she actually looks better than her. Bruh. She looks way better than her. She looks, a, she looks like a little library lady. Nah. You know, those, those would be the freaky ones. The libraries used to be sexy. I don't know what libraries you was going to. I went to the ones she was at. <laughs> <laughs> she knew Muhammad was a player. Well, this is the thing that you 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 get these people from like Istanbul and fucking the Czech Republic and you bring them over here and you're like, look, we're going to live happily ever after. Yeah. I'm like, she looks way better than you, bro. Way better. Why would she get over here and she gets a taste of that life? It's going to be a lot of people trying to sneak her away from you, and it's not going to be hard to do. Yeah. Nope. And she'll be complicit. Yes. We just got to be honest about what we want. I think a lot of our problem as human beings is not knowing how to get our needs met. Mm-hmm. So that's why we play a lot of fucking games. You know what? That is a great segue. Can <laughs> we show a, a video of a lady who wasn't getting a needs met, so she decides she needs to do something to herself as well? Oh, let's oh, see. What the fuck type of video? I know. Let's see. <laughs> I hope you play the right one. Say those things. If I don't do anything to you, that threatens your life. What is he saying? He's, he's mad. He want to slap us? Looks like it. Stop being excellent restraint. You're fucking guy. filming us. Like, stop. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? I really never understood the idea of couples arguing in public, bro. Like, like y'all can't wait till y'all get home. Y'all have to argue in front of everybody, bro. That that really gets me mad, honestly. Nobody really trying to hear y'all. Y'all being mad, like I can't talk like human beings. And it's most of the time, it's not even for something that big of a deal, bro. It's just something regular. Who this was point, the, who just was the break voice over here. Yeah. Yeah. He need to if shut up. To be he's talking because he's day, off. Bro. Don't nobody get mad off. and be like, hold Honestly. your anger. This is facts. Wait till though. we get home. <laughs> That's facts, though. Nobody does. They be arguing about stupid shit. It's like, dude, I'm I'm trying to sleep. Like we, you know, that's how anger is. Started in here, and you. Arguing about the Cheerios y'all had last night. That's anger. There's yeah, another he, one that's worse than that one. There's a there's a lady that's that's not having it. She's really not that having was it. Excellent restraint. You could tell he wanted to slap the shit out of someone. Oh, We're gonna show you some, some All right. non-restraint. Yeah. Say those things. Oh, no, next one. I don't no, do that's restraint. To you, no. that's yeah, it is. Psycho girlfriend one on one. That one? This one and <laughs> the one after that. <gasps> 
<laughs> Yo! What the fuck? I'm with you, bro. <laughs> what? Wait, first of all, I have a question. Why yeah. are crazy people so strong? Like, she effortlessly broke that window. Have you ever tried to break a window? I have never tried to break a window, no. It takes, it takes some strength. I think if I tried to do it, I could do it. I, I think I'm strong enough to break a window. I mean, I, I mean, I don't. You know what? I'll test the window first before I break it. I got, I'm smarter than that. Right. Okay. I'm gonna do a couple of taps. I'm like, you know what? I can break this, yeah. and I'm gonna come back later, bro. Right? Because I'm, a, you know, I'm smart. She was crazy. No, that's not crazy. Next, next video. You got one crazier than that? Yes. All right. I asked, so nope. What? No, she's Skip crazy. Give me a moment, so I sit here in the silence. I feel peace. In just putting up with it, you know? Show the next one after that one, too. Just putting up with it, because she's cute. Mm. Told you. Okay. Bomb problems. These bomb problems. Let's see if this one. I don't know if this is... Oh, she hitting herself. Why it took me a minute to realize she was hitting herself? I was like... Look at him. He's over it. Can't take a breath. Who's filming that? Me. Right. And then she's going to call the police and say he did it. She is giving it to herself, though. We got to give her... Like, all he right! Like, he like, stop beating your ass! Jeez! <laughs> oh, wow. This is... Go he, like, he looking away like this... That's fucking hilarious, That's dude. mental illness. <laughs> that is finest. Hey, that's... I don't bring a name up, but... The question is... So, okay, yo, to answer your question, why do we bo date bomb-ass problems? Yeah. Um, is because we think we deserve it. No. Nah. Well, okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. You think you deserve it. I don't deserve that. And then that's why you're not in that situation. You're damn right. Yeah. I he think he deserves to sit there and watch somebody just Mike Tyson themselves in the middle of the street. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, it was more of a... They were pimping themselves. <laughs> she was being pimped <laughs> by herself. That's gold. I love that. That's hilarious. That's one of my favorite videos. I, I could watch. I could. I feel like I could watch. I could wake up in the morning and be like, you know what? Life ain't that bad. I can watch this. And I can just see, like, you know what? This, uh oh. That's why well, it's wild playing that. Did you say like? I put that. Oh, okay, that was. It. <laughs> I, I thought that was him. Oh, that's why he uh, said wow. I, I thought heard. he did that. Oh, I heard it. Oh, uh, okay. I think so. that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing at it. I'm. I mean, listen. People are putting this up here as forms of entertainment. Yep. And Over sharing. even though I, I can dissect this and, and find out what's wrong, sometimes my initial reaction as a human being is laughter. And yeah. then I have to process it, right? But yeah, that's and that's what social media is doing to us. Well, I'm dark inside. So it just, none of this stuff bothers me. I just like, oh, okay, like here's another one. <laughs> it's it's never a surprise to me, honestly. And it should be, but I think uh, that time has passed. Yeah, we are definitely desensitized. Yeah. Oh, they said it about comedians. So they were like, look, you guys, it's something wrong with you. Dude, I had a therapist, and he was like, you know, you know, you know, I have another comedian besides you, and you guys are like almost alike. Yeah, like you could, you you could solve your own yeah. fucking problems. You just don't. Yeah. And I was like, so what am I paying you for it then? Right. So I stopped talking to him. <laughs> but uh, he was cool while it lasted. He was cool while it lasted. It's always cool while it lasted. Yeah, you gotta, you know, you gotta just see if you need a therapist or not. Sometimes. And we all need to heal, though. It might not be in the form of a therapist, but we all need to heal. And yeah. our social media shows you that every day. I, that's my form of healing. I heal by watching other people's destruction, and then I'm like, "Oh, I'm I'm fine. Like I'm not doing that." That's, so, that's so comparison. Yeah, that's that's comparison, not healing. <laughs> yeah. But you know, hey, if, if you feel good, I'll tell you to tie your shoes. Do if, I? If you feel good, all right. If you feel good, that's all that matters, baby. That's all that matters. And, uh, and that is our on an hour. Wow. Yeah, I know, huh? That went by fast. I know, cause it, cause it's. I enjoyed myself. It's flowing. It's like the river, man. We doing a good job. It's a good current. Yeah. That's all that matters. A lot of fucked up fish in there too. But uh Yeah, I enjoyed myself. We love you guys. Uh equally. Doesn't matter if you slap yourself or not. Yeah. Punch windows out. Uh non traditional. Put your kids online to get berated and sexually looked at without you even realizing it because you're stupid. Still love you. They learn from their mistakes. Yeah, they, don't. Don't. Yeah, they, don't. they don't. They don't. I would hope they did. They went on the news. They yeah, did. but shit, she got more fame now. Yeah. What do you mean? 
She gonna just make a whole new TikTok and just not appear to the kids on it. She gonna be shaking her ass at surround sound, mm. of course. Mm. Yeah, I guess she got better equipment now. Thank you. <laughs> and the news paid for it. That's why I'm like, come on, man. Uh, we gotta cut it out here. These people never learn. But uh, they will when they watch this show. And we hope you share, like, and subscribe. Yeah. Like his ham show, Shell. I've been Shelly Shell. Y'all have a good one. Thank you for having me. <laughs> That's what you say to it? Yeah, I don't. Okay. I don't That's really. Cool. That's cool. That's cool.